Madam Speaker, I rise to table question number one of 2015, listed under my name, to the Minister for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation. Can the Honourable Minister outline the social services intervention and rehabilitation measures in place to address mothers and children beggars in Fiji? Thank you. The Minister for Women, Children and Poverty Alleviation. I, I thank the Honourable Member for raising this question in this August House. Uh, Madam Spe Speaker, if I can bring this to the attention of the House, this issue has been gaining a lot of uh, media attention and uh, we have outlined our plans to the media as to how the social service intervention and rehabilitation measures will be used to address uh, mothers and beggars, children beggars in Fiji. Uh, Madam Speaker, begging is uh, not a new issue for Fiji. Um, beggar profiling has been completed and uh, the Ministry is going to intensify its effort to ensure that uh, uh, mothers or women and children who are begging on the streets and who have been begging for a long, long time will now be assisted under our uh, care and protection programs. Um, I have a ministerial statement to deliver as uh, per the order paper and um, I will be outlining plans in detail during that uh, presentation. Thank you. Supplementary question, Madam Speaker. Thank you. Supplementary question. Uh, would the Honourable uh, Minister explain how your budget, which is quite uh, small as compared to other uh, ministries and departments, be able to effectively carry out your plans to be able to address the children and mothers begging in the streets. Thank you. Honourable Minister. Thank you, Honourable Member. Uh, we have a close to $22 million budget for our social welfare programs. And uh, begging and uh, assisting mothers and child begging in Fiji, the assistance will uh, come out from our social welfare programs. And uh, at the moment, we have profiled 72 beggars in Fiji, a number is very small, and out of that we have close to 40 female women or mothers, as we say, begging on the streets. I would not be able to give a clear indication of the amount that will be used on that, because situations differ. We are going, back, uh, we are going through these uh, beggars case by case, and we have just started up with a very small project keeping in mind that these women or mothers who are on our streets are uneducated, they are sickly, and we have decided that we will uh, put them as market vendors across all towns and cities. This is not very costly. We, it's a six weeks program and we have set aside $600 for each of these uh, uh, mother beggars, and this funding will come from our social welfare programs. Thank you. Thank you, supplementary question. I thank the Honourable Minister for um, her replies and uh, I must say, Madam Speaker, she's doing a wonderful job. She uh, must be the only person on this side of the house that really uh, lifts our spirits when you see her every day. <laughs> Madam Speaker, there's always uh, talk about people, beggars, who appear to be doing very well. They have houses, they have cars. Um, it's, I, I believe it's, it's true. What is government doing about that to ensure that there's more funds available to, the, to, to those who really need, uh, Madam Speaker? Honourable Minister. Um, thank you, Honourable Member, for the question. At the moment, our plan is to partner up with the faith-based organisations. Um, last year, government allocated $100,000 funding to set up the new rehabilitation centre that we opened on Friday in Dole Suva. And uh, we have partnered up with the... Uh, uh, the Fiji Muslim League, and we are going to open up a new vocational centre, Makoi Women's Vocational Centre, in April. So these are the first step towards that, and we look forward to partnering with other stakeholders and agencies who have these beggars at heart. And I'm sure that we will meet success. The challenge is there. It's all about changing the mindsets of these people who have been on our streets for a long, long time. Profiling has shown us that there are cases of generational beggars, and. Uh, as long as we are able to change the mindsets of these people, I'm sure we'll be able to assist them. Yes, we have beggars who make a good living on our streets. Our beggar profiling shows that they're doing pretty well. And uh, the only way we can assist and um, 
and not allow more to come on our streets is uh, we have uh, started up a campaign appealing to the public, please assist us, take them off the roads by not giving to them. Um, the house would be surprised as to how much they earn. I wouldn't like to publicly declare how much beggars on, but I'm sure at the end, no, I'm not sure, I, I, I know. We've spoken to them and they openly tell us how much they earn on our roads. So it's we, because we are generous, because we are compassionate, because we see them on the roads and we assume that they are poor. So the moment we stop giving, Madam Speaker, I'm sure we'll be able to tackle this problem. And I said, it's 72 at the moment. And in my ministerial statements, I'll be uh, outlining the category of baggage we have in Fiji, and then probably the House will be able to understand the stand we are taking. Thank you. Thank you. Member has already asked a supplementary question. I had also asked for your discretion to allow a supplementary question from this side of the house. Not to allow? To ask a supplementary question, ma'am. Thank you. I will give you the opportunity if... Uh... Honorable Minister has um, referred to a measure for the rehabilitation of women baggers. My question, ma'am, is what initiatives does the ministry have to ensure the sustainability of these endeavors. Honourable Minister. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker, and I thank uh, the Honourable Minister for Lens for posing that question. And I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank Honourable Gavoka for his uh, words of appreciation. Um, Madam Speaker, we've just started up with the Market Vendors Initiative. And that was done in the view of the fact that uh, the women, majority of the women who are on our streets are sickly, they are not educated. And after doing a case profile of them, we gave them options and they chose uh, the, the market vendors project. This project will supplement the, the Dole Suva rehabilitation project where currently we have five able-bodied men who will be engaged in agricultural uh, uh, crops production. So the, the, the produce that will be grown in Dole Suva will be sold by the women in our market, especially for the Suva area. This is monitored on a daily basis. We have a, a police officer who looks after this project. We have situated our stalls in front of the police post simply because we found that they came back on the road. That we assisted them on the first day and the next day they were back on the road. So like I said, changing the mindset. So yes, we are monitoring them on a day-to-day -day basis, and we are um, um, appreciative of the police commissioner's uh, input into this project as well. And uh, this week, they are going through a financial literacy program, uh, where we are going to teach them on the importance of managing their money, and they are also put on our social welfare benefit. This project will go on for six weeks. They'll be assisted for six weeks, and um, looking at the success of this program, we will try to remove our assistance. But if they do need further assistance, I'm sure we'll be there to assist them. Thank you. In my opinion, the question has been adequately answered. 